Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit today about the decision that you've got to make in your life about what sort of personality or persona you are, are going to operate with in the world, which way, you're, what, which direction you're going to go, which type of traits you're going to personify. Okay. Now, before I get started about this, I want to just lay a disclaimer out that anybody listening to this, you can be absolutely any way that you want to be. You, you be you, you do you, you do whatever you feel is right for you. Don't let somebody like me judge you or don't let somebody like me feel like you're being judged or whatever. You, you can do whatever the heck it is you want with your life. You can be whatever way you want to be. Um, that should make sense. I'm sure that, that, uh, yeah, that, uh, that will mean something to you guys and girls out there, but I'm just speaking from my own experience and you can take this with a grain of salt and you can do whatever you want with this sort of information. But what I've noticed about life and let's just take it from a man's perspective and let's just talk about being a man today. And let's just talking about being a powerful, respected person in this world. Let's talk about the two different options that you have with the personality traits and the behavioral types that you can embody and that you can you can project and you can you can act like, let's say, in the world. There's two clearly cut distinctive paths that you can take. Number one, number one is the the more professional, more put together, more composed, more more um, like what I perceive to be a solid guy that has his shit together that acts like a like a, uh, he acts more serious, let's say, okay? The other path that you can take is you can be the, the comedian, the jokester, the clown, the, the person that's always trying to get attention on them, the person that's always trying to get a rise out of people, the person that's always trying to to uh, basically be silly and goofy, okay? That's a very, those are two very big polar opposite extremes of your options that you can operate as as a man, let's say. And just what I've observed is that the people that go through this life and go through this world and really execute and really do amazing things and really garner respect from people and, and garner especially respect from women in a in a grander sale, scale or in, in a grander sense or the guys that are more more serious, more quote unquote professional, more put together. The way they carry themselves is like what I perceive to be more of like a dominant alpha sort of style. And that is that is very much so the embodiment of this this type of character, personality trait, whatever you want to say that is that that person as I'm describing it. Okay. And there's a clear cut difference specifically when you're dealing with women and but definitely when you're dealing with other humans, other men, other other people in many other realms if you choose to go the path of the comedian or the jokester or the prankster or the the person that's always messing around, the, the person that's always trying to use humor, it's it's not always, I don't want to say received as well in the world, but it's not as respected as much and is not necessarily garnered and gifted with the, the, the greatest that this life has to offer, in my opinion. And I think this is very pertinent. I mean, a lot of what I talk about in this channel is, is talking to you guys out there that are trying to to find your way with women and trying to to find your 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 groove or whatever you want to say you're trying to sharpen yourselves you're trying to figure out how to to be a better man let's say that's at least that's the way that i like to think of it as i'm convinced like i said just speaking from experience what i've seen in my life the guys that are more successful with women are the more like serious business oriented professional put together composed serious guys let's say as opposed to the ones that try to take the comedian route and try to try to be the clown try to be the the person that's always trying to get that sort of attention focused upon them i've seen the women gravitate towards those men that were what what i just described a moment ago and i've noticed a difference in my own life when i've acted in each given way in each given different in each different given sort of regard i've seen a noticeable undeniable let's say correlation between those times when i acted like that that professional composed 
all business, straightforward sort sort of sort of man. As co- as compared to the the lack of success that I've had when I went the mm-hmm. comedian route, and that's what I want to convey to you guys. Mm-hmm. The last thing that I want you to think about today is for every one of you guys that's listening out there, and even girls, if you happen to be listening to this this talk right now, I want you to think of those guys in your perspective, in your perceptions, be it celebrities, politicians, world leaders, anybody in your community that you could possibly think of. I want you to think of the ones that you, you hold the most respect for, the ones that you admire the most, the ones that you might be drawn the most strongly towards. I want you to think about what types of guys those are. What types of men are these people? Are they are they like more serious, more more composed, put together all the stuff that I mentioned several times now? Or or is it the comedian guys? And I you know, I, I wanna believe that most people are gonna agree on this, that if you really stop and think about those people that you look up to or those people that you really truly respect and those people you're you're drawn to it's probably that character set that i've laid out several times now at this point it's it's that sort of strong powerful down to business straightforward no bullshit kind of guy okay that's something for you guys to think about i want to talk about this a lot more with you because i think it's one of the most important things that every young man needs to to wrap their minds around earlier in life than than um, than later. I wish I had. I think my my story in life would be a lot different if I had conducted myself in in a in a different way early on. But it is what it is. Life's learning experience. Not beating myself up over it. But I want to instill that in you guys, in you young guys, anybody out there that's listening, that's early on in your journey. I want you to think about that. And I want you to think about what type of guy do you want to be? What type of guy do you think gets more girls? What type of guy do you think achieves more success in this earth? Okay. You got two options. But be you. Be whatever you think it is you are supposed to or need to be. This is just a little bit of perspective. Okay. All right, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk around soon.